professor? Good morning, my friend. I'm not really a professor, but uh, it's okay if you refer to me as professor for now. Wow, that's great. Yeah, professor, uh, I'm Sonia Gadurias for good purpose, and uh, a paralegal. Yeah, and a uh, human rights activist. And uh, before you, I uh, want to, 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 to inquire from you uh, broadly as the uh, legal icons, as the legal icon, uh, what are you giving to the students entirely about the, before the, before the fall of the Hama event of today? Uh, first of all, I think this is a novel area. This is a new area in terms of uh, legal jurisprudence, academic legal jurisprudence in this country. And uh, I'm very impressed that you as the President of Law Society has been the first person to usher it in. I haven't seen it in most of the different law schools that we engage in. Call it Makere, call it Uganda Christian University, call it IUIU, call it uh, Kumba, call it any place university in Kumba, whatever, or, or care you, or cause you, whatever. So all, I'm impressed that uh, this is something that is novel, that's going to encourage people to, uh, you know, acquaintance themselves with the law, acclimatize themselves with the law, so that the law can be put on their fingers. So I think this is a novel idea. One of the things they do at LDC is what they call oral exam. So if you guys do it at another stage, then it will give you the impetus to be able to prepare yourself so that you become, uh, you know, the best uh, legal jurist of tomorrow. Like what uh, uh, the great, uh, one, of the, one of the great lawyers said one time, uh, that, uh, you know, the tool of the lawyer is his tongue and his pen. So the ideal thing is to train you to be able to, to talk orally and also to speak with a lot of confidence. Call it some kind of elocution competition. Okay. Professor, are you saying that, uh, that this is one of the, the events that form the law of the 21st century? Absolutely. No doubt about that. This is the future. of This is the future. You are now living tomorrow. This is something. How I wish every law school, every jurist can actually, you know, get themselves into this kind of stuff so that they can be able to have the law in their fingers. Then, I mean, the other thing, we argue that the law, good lawyer is not the one who knows, where, who knows the law, where, where, but knows what to find the law. But we're also arguing that a good lawyer should actually have the law on their fingertips. Okay. So, Professor, I uh, thought that a lawyer uh, is only the one who goes to class and study. Is, it, is this part of the legal aid education reforms? That uh, absolutely. This is part of what you call paralegal, like you said. It's actually in, 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 in sync with, uh, for example, if you remember, we, I did something called the two generous law app, which you simply go to Play Store and simply upload. Uh, and we give the law free of charge. We don't charge any money. So you simply go there, Google it down, or you can go to a website and go, go to law.org. Most of these things are already available. So the ideal thing is to promote and encourage law so that law becomes something. We demystify the law, in short. The idea is a demystification of the concept of law. Okay. So, Professor, can you tell our fellow comrades uh, the liability of missing this event of today? Let me tell you, you only miss at your peril, detriment, and utter loss. If you miss this, count yourself a loss. If you get this, count yourself to heaven, for lack of a better word. God bless you, and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, my brother. God bless.